By now, it is widely known that Ford is facing challenges in the electric vehicle market. According to their earnings reports, Ford incurred a loss of $700 million in the first quarter of 2023, with only 12,000 DVs sold during that period. This translates to an average loss of $58,333 per electric vehicle sold in the first three months of the year. The situation is exacerbated by the financial strain caused by the company's Phone 50 Lightning, which is putting a significant burden on Ford's finances. Looking back to the 90s, when sedans were losing their appeal, the emergence of powerful and fast trucks like the GMC Cyclone, Dodge Ram Cert 10, and Ford Phone 50 SVT Lightning captured the attention of enthusiasts and collectors alike. Fast forward to 2022, and the Phone 50 series is still going strong, with Ford proudly announcing over 640,000 Farad Series trucks sold in a single year. This impressive track record of sales makes the F-Series America's best-selling truck for an astounding 46 consecutive years and the best-selling vehicle overall for 41 years, showcasing Ford's winning streak. However, the success of the Phone 50 Lightning as the best-selling electric truck in 2022 doesn't mask the financial challenges it brings. Reports suggest that Ford is losing around $60,000 on each Phone 50 Lightning sold, posing a considerable setback for the company's bottom line. Interestingly, Ford does not manufacture most of the components in-house, relying on various suppliers, even for basic parts like door handles. This contrasts with the approach advocated by Henry Ford, who was a proponent of vertical integration for more control over the manufacturing process. Dependence on external suppliers introduces the risk of supply chain disruptions, which can severely impact production and finances. Moreover, Ford's reliance on specialized battery manufacturers for the Lightning presents its own set of challenges. Production hiccups due to battery issues have forced Ford to halt production temporarily, requiring additional investments to rectify the problems. Not having control over battery production also leaves Ford vulnerable to disruptions in the battery supply chain, hindering the production of their electric vehicles. The Lightning's initial promise of affordability has faded with multiple price increases announced in August 2022, October, December, and March 2023. The starting price has risen significantly to $61,869, mainly due to larger batteries and premium trim levels. While these additions contribute to Ford's financial performance, they also push the Lightning further away from its original goal of being an affordable electric truck for the masses. This has led many potential buyers to cancel their reservations. The Inflation Reduction Act has further impacted Lightning sales, as trucks must fall below the $80,000 mark to qualify for tax incentives. Several Phone 50 lineup models, including the Extended Range XLT and Standard Range Lariat trims, now exceed this threshold making them ineligible for the coveted $7,500 tax credit. Even the highly sought-after $59,974 ProTrim for 2023 is already sold out, making it challenging for interested buyers to get their hands on this popular electric truck. While Ford's price increases may have been necessary to address financial concerns, they have opened up opportunities for competitors to enter the market with more budget-friendly electric trucks. As the electric truck segment evolves, other manufacturers may find success by catering to customers seeking affordability without compromising performance. To address the challenges, Ford must significantly reduce the Lightning's price to make it more accessible to potential buyers. Additionally, reducing reliance on external suppliers and focusing on in-house production, particularly for critical components like batteries, will enhance Ford's control over quality, availability, and cost, resulting in streamlined production processes and improved overall efficiency. In conclusion, Ford's struggles in the electric vehicle market are evident, but there are opportunities to overcome these challenges. By addressing affordability and production issues, Ford can strengthen its position and appeal in the growing electric truck market. When the Ford Phone 50 Lightning made its debut with a starting price of $41,000, it was hailed as a game-changer in the electric truck market. Electric trucks were gaining popularity, but their high price tags often made them inaccessible to the average consumer. 
Ford's decision to offer a more affordable electric truck was met with excitement in the industry. Their clever strategy involved using carryover parts from the gas-powered Phone 50 to keep costs down while incorporating an innovative electric drivetrain. This not only made the Lightning more affordable but also leveraged the reputation and success of the beloved Phone 50 lineup. Initially, Ford seemed to have struck the sweet spot between performance, features, and affordability with the Lightning. Truck received widespread attention and positive reviews, with many praising its power range and practicality. It was seen as a serious contender in the growing electric truck market. However, as time passed, the story took a different turn. In August 2022, Ford announced its first price increase for the Lightning, and further adjustments were made in October and December of the same year. Now, in March 2023, we're facing yet another price hike. With each increase, the starting price of the Phone 50 Lightning has steadily risen to $61,869. While some of the additional costs were justified by the inclusion of larger batteries and premium trim levels, the trajectory of the price raised concerns among potential buyers and industry observers. The continuous price hikes have presented a double-edged sword for Ford. On one hand, they have undoubtedly contributed to the company's financial performance, helping cover the expenses associated with advanced electric technology, battery production, and ongoing development. However, on the other hand, these price increases have made the entry-level Lightning less accessible to budget-conscious buyers. This shift in pricing has moved the Phone 50 Lightning away from its original promise of being an affordable electric truck for the masses, leading many to cancel their reservations. Adding to the challenges, the Inflation Reduction Act has significantly impacted Lightning sales. The new price cap rule demands that trucks fall below the $80,000 mark to qualify for tax incentives. As a result, a considerable portion of the Ford Phone 50 lineup no longer meets the criteria for the coveted $7,500 tax credit. For instance, the extended range XLT model and standard range Lariat trims now exceed the $80,000 threshold, making them ineligible for the tax credit. As the Lightning's price has risen, the highly sought-after 2023 Pro Trim, priced at $59,974, is already entirely sold out. Those who missed the opportunity to place an order back in 2022 may have a tough time getting their hands on this highly coveted $40,000 electric truck. While Ford's price increases were likely necessary for their bottom line, it has also created an opportunity for competitors to enter the market with more budget-friendly electric trucks. As the electric truck segment continues to grow, other manufacturers may find success by catering to customers who seek affordability without compromising on performance. To address these challenges, Ford must significantly bring down the price of the Lightning to make it more accessible and attractive to potential buyers. Additionally, reducing reliance on external suppliers for various components, especially batteries, is crucial. Ford's recent announcement to develop several battery plants in the United States is a step in the right direction, allowing for greater control over the quality, availability, and cost of critical elements and streamlining production processes. In conclusion, while the Ford Phone 50 Lightning is an impressive electric truck, Ford must address the pricing and production issues to truly make it accessible and competitive in the evolving electric truck market. The situation with Ford and the Phone 50 Lightning's pricing and availability is indeed complex. The Inflation Reduction Act's impact on tax incentives has made the Lightning less attractive to potential buyers who were relying on the tax credit to make their purchase more financially viable. Moreover, the high demand for the Pro Trim, priced at $59,974 for 2023, has resulted in it being entirely sold out. This scarcity may disappoint those who missed the opportunity to order one back in 2022. Ford's decision to increase the price multiple times, while necessary for their financial performance, has also created an opening for competitors to enter the market with more budget-friendly electric trucks. To remain competitive and fulfill their promise of an affordable electric truck, Ford must address the pricing concerns. Drastically bringing down the Lightning's price is crucial to making it accessible to a broader audience. Additionally, 
Ford's plan to develop several battery plants in the United States to reduce reliance on external suppliers for crucial components like batteries is a step in the right direction. This move will enhance Ford's control over quality, availability, and cost, leading to more efficient production processes. Overall, Ford recognizes the challenges and the need for significant improvements. While the Phone 50 Lightning remains an impressive truck, the company must take action to address pricing and production issues to stay competitive in the evolving electric truck market. Customer feedback and demand for more affordable electric trucks without compromising performance should guide Ford's strategy moving forward. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.